Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer. Today we'll be looking at the index tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So let's get right into it. Now before I show off what the index tool can do, I'm going to show off the end result of the difference between two documents, one that does not have an index and one that does have an index. I've already given this document an index. So basically an index is just a way, something that you can embed into a file that makes it easier to search makes the search times quicker for, you know, whenever you do control F, so whenever you're trying to find a specific word within a document. So in most documents, the search time will not be, you know, too too slow, but that is why I have a quite a long document to look at here today. This is everything you could possibly do with JavaScript within Adobe Acrobat, and so it's quite extensive, several hundred pages. So searching a document like this, it's pretty verbose, so searching a document like this can take quite a bit of time, as I shall demonstrate right now. So I'm just going to control F, open up the find menu, and I'm just going to type in something that I know is not going to be in this document. So, And we're going to start looking through it. So yeah, it took us, it took Agrabet a few seconds. It's not, it wasn't unbearable, but still it took a few seconds to finish searching a document. Now you have to, if you have to find several different options, several different words within a document like this, you know, it's going to get tedious searching, you know, time and time again for different words. And that's where the index comes in. So I've already given this document, the same document, but I've given it an index. So let's try that out. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Basically, an index, embedding an index into a document allows you to skip through all, you know, the tedium of searching through a document, and because it index just allows Acrobat to search something much quicker than a plain old PDF. So now that we have our index, let's, let's try to apply it. So we have our two options, full index with catalog and manage embedded index. Basically, this allows us, the first option allows us to create our index. So the way we would do this is do new index, fill it all out, and continue. Now I'm not doing this in this case because the way the indexes work in Acrobat is you, it makes an index of an entire subdirectory. And so all the, all the files in a folder will be given indices. And I haven't isolated this file properly, so I don't want to give other things indices. So I'm just not going to do that right now. But once we have our index, we can manage it. And so that's why I have the second file open. Like that. And so we, this file contains a valid embedded index. Notice we're in the second file now. So we've, we contain a valid index. We can remove it. We can update it. Just like that. And now it's not responding. Oh, it looks like I broke it. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, anyway, because uh, I see. So the whole the thing is because this document was very long uh, and I clicked update the index, it's now, Acrobat is now attempting to re-index this long document. And, you know, it's not it's not having a great time. It's, it's struggling a little bit, but, you know, it's going to get through it. And we have updated our index to make sure that it is indeed valid. And we could remove it if we like, but I'm not going to. But, yeah. That's all there is for the index tool. It's pretty useful if you have these very long documents that you just do not want to sit there forever waiting to search for something. But yeah, that's all there is to that. Thanks for coming, everybody. Tune in next time for our last tool in Acrobat, the JavaScript tool. Until then, take care, everybody.